Yeah, hello viewers. Uh, it's a good day to you all. Uh, first of all, you all welcome to my YouTube channel. And if this is your first time of visiting the channel, please I request that you click that word written in red subscribe to subscribe to the channel. And the reason for you doing that is so anytime I release a new video online, you will be the first to get notification. So without wasting much time, let me go straight to the reason of why I'm dropping this video. Just as you are saying, is uh, to guide you on how to uh, become a validator in Pi Network. Yeah, so after you have done your KYC and this type of message has been sent to you in your own, uh, in your own Pi Network app, then the mining app. I mean. The next you can then apply for validation so you can see qyc application update congratulations your qyc application has been validated you can now become a qyc validator yourself through the qyc app in the pi browser so this you now go to the pi browser and then start the join now i've opened the pi browser app so first that you're gonna start with you click that KYC pi and then wait till it open so now it open so you now watch as we go through all the process so first you see here it says welcome back here you can track your KYC application status your application status KYC pass KYC Pass your QRC application is completed and approved. So that is done. Next, do you want to help with validating pioneers? You can apply to become validator and end pi with each successful validator. So here you then click become a validator. So I click now. This page has opened, yes. So you can see that uh, before we start. We are glad you want to uh, join our validators team. There is some information on the process. First, you see here, first step, KYC validator training. As a, as a new KYC validator, you must complete our quick tutorial consisting of six questions. Then, validator quiz we will then ask you some quiz question you will have to answer all of them correctly and then validator ultimately now here validation and reward for every validation you receive pi in return as a reward so then you click get started so here you have to read this agreement and then you come down then you click agree I agree so next then you now move to the next stage so now look at this important phase you see prohibited behavior reminder this place you have to know it so you by agreeing to PIS validation uh, service agreement you are acknowledged you have acknowledged that among other ob obligations and restriction all QIC information access during the validation process. You must not be now one copy or screenshot this, uh, download or save. You will not share with anyone. You will not. So then you have to click confirm. You should know that violations are traceable in multiple ways. Failure to comply with result in a definitive ban in a definitive ban from pi network your account deletion the complete loss of all previous mine pi and potential indemnification of pi network and or other liability under the terms of pi validator service agreement please carefully review your obligation under the uh, under this agreement so you click confirm so once you click confirm then you now move to this stage saying qyc validator training 
uh, estimated time to five minutes. Before starting, you need to finish our tutorial for a new validator. So you click on the tutorial, then you now do it. Now look at this place. You see, is this the right, correct type, genuine, correct, valid, valid, clear document? So you wait and see till this place open due to network at times you do delay so you can see that it has opened so here they say united states id card a name and surname sunshine uh, nationality american this no this an incorrect id so you click you choose from all these options now it's an incorrect id then you click continue so now they say that is correct then you now click ok and then move to the second one now this one says is this the right correct type genuine current valid clear document and because the photo is not there and some things are not there and as such we will now go with scene uh unclear photo so you now move wrong answer okay so you now say incorrect so you can see so this is let's see a fake one okay let's go to expire one so wrong country So this is yes, then you now move correct answer, then you now move to the next one. So I take a from you. I think is this the right correct type genuine current valid clear document? Answer is no because it's an unclear photo. Then you now move correct, then you now move to the next one. Yeah, so in the next one it says uh, if it's, is the person in the left photograph the same as the person in the right photograph? Answer is yes. So we now move. Correct. Then we now move to uh, the next phase. So next we will now see identify match. Is the person in the left photograph the same as the person? The person in the right photograph? The answer is no. Because it's on clear photo, so now move, then you click OK. So here, name change. Um, so here, I use a shorter version of my name when I created. Uh, when I created my account, I would like to update it to my official name as seen on the uh, document. So this user want to update their account name do you approve this change so you have to click yes and then move so correct next you see so uh now just play is this video of a live recording of a real human you can choose answer only after first full video mm, playing a video so the answer is yes then you move correct because uh, he was blinking so congratulations tutorial completed let's start the quiz now you need to pass a quick validation quiz consisting of a, of a few questions you need to answer correctly to all of them in order to proceed to validating good luck so here so let's start <coughs> when can validators share validation data and the answer is validator should never share validation data with anyone in any circumstance which is this so i select it then i click submit now the next question you now enter now number two say when can validators download record screenshot or store validation data so here the answer and they say never download record screenshot or store validation data you remember 
you have said this in uh, then you know move to the next question because it has already been given already then this one privacy penalties copying screenshotting sharing recording downloading and or storing any data from validation work may result in uh, this is a ban so it's a ban then you move uh, so let's move to this and so privacy penalties copying screenshot all of the other answers are correct so congratulations please can you can proceed to validating so click on this and then boom start validating you are able to validate applications only from your own country start validating to npy so you see now then you click check my qrc application study then you click on this mm -hmm. so confirm mm -hmm. no question about what can they do uh, so this one 